is Bhumika Singh for SME Futures and here are the top stories from this week. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman on Wednesday said that the government is keeping an eye on the price rise which is extraneous due to the prices of fuel and fertilizers. Due to various PLI schemes initiated by the centre, private investment capex is rising in the country. She further said that the supplementary demand for grants is essentially for food security, fertilizer requirements and for providing support to the economy. And the government's strategy to deal with pandemic helped in reviving economic growth, thus avoiding recessionary trends. The government of Assam has granted industry status to the tourism sectors of the state anticipating big investments and further boost to the sector. Assam Tourism Minister Jayanta Malla Barua highlighted that with such industry status, it would attract fresh investments in tourism infrastructures, permanent in nature and would contribute towards rapid employment generation, public-private partnership and infrastructure development. With this step now, restaurants, cafeterias, health clubs, spas and wellness centers among others in Assam are eligible for incentives under the industry policy. With tourism as main source of income generation, this move will further encourage and boost private investments in the sector. Security risks for businesses have risen drastically in the past few years in India. A report by Sophos, a cyber security firm, says that if the growth is bringing up new opportunities, cyber security is the next big challenge for the Indian businesses. The report reveals that India has been one of the most vulnerable countries to cyber attacks since the pandemic and 68% of companies have experienced some form of attack on their data, while 7 out of 10 Indian firms suffered from a ransomware attack in the previous year. While PwC's latest global digital trust insight reveals that 82% of businesses executives in India anticipate an increase in cyber security budget by 2023. The survey also noted that 65% of these executives believe cyber criminals will have a bigger impact on their organization in 2023 than they did in 2022. With e-commerce gaining massive traction across the country, the homegrown e-commerce brand Nisho has had a banner year in 2022. The company has set three records this year. With a record 910 million orders, the brand has grown to 135% year-on-year basis. The company onboarded around 5 lakh suppliers in 2022, with 60% of them are new to e-commerce and selling online for the first time. Meanwhile, the report highlights that India shopped about 148 sarees per minute, 93,000 t-shirts, 51,725 Bluetooth earphones and 21,662 lipsticks every day. That's all for now and for more such updates, keep watching SMEs this week every Friday.